Paradise Lost Book 4, beginning with line 8. Now Satan, now first inflamed with rage, came down, the tempter ere the accuser of mankind, to wreak on innocent frail man his loss of that first battle and his flight to hell. Yet not rejoicing in his speed, though bold, far off, and fearless, nor with cause to boast, begins his dire attempt, which neither birth now rolling, boils in his tumultuous breast, and like a devilish engine, back recoils upon himself. Horror and doubt distract his troubled thoughts, and from the bottom stir that hell within him. For within him hell he brings, and round about him, nor from hell one step no more than from himself can fly by change of place. Now conscience wakes despair that slumbered, wakes the bitter memory of what he was, what is, and what must be worse. Of worse deeds, worse sufferings must ensue. Sometimes towards Eden, which now in his view lay pleasant, his grieved look he fixes sad. Sometimes towards heaven and the full blazing sun, which now sat high in his meridian tower. Then much revolving, thus in sighs began, and here Satan begins to speak to the sun. O thou that with surpassing glory crowned, lookst from thy sole dominion like the god of this new world, at whose sight all the stars hide their diminished heads, to thee I call but with no friendly voice, and add thy name, O sun, to tell thee how I hate thy beams, that bring to my remembrance from what state I fell, how glorious once above thy sphere, till pride and worse ambition threw me down, warring in heaven against heaven's matchless key. Now we turn to line 73. Satan is still speaking. Me, miserable. Which way shall I fly infinite wrath and infinite despair? Which way I fly is hell, myself in hell. And in the lowest deep, a lower deep still threatening to devour me opens wide, to which the hell I suffer seems a heaven. Oh, then at last relent, if there are no place left for repentance, none for pardon left. None left but by submission, and that word disdain forbids me, and my dread of shame among the spirits beneath, whom I seduced with other promises and other bonds than to submit, boasting I could subdue the omnipotent. And me they little know how dearly I abide that boast so vain, under what torments inwardly I groan, while they adore me on the throne of hell, with diadem and scepter high advanced, the lower still I fall, only supreme in misery. Such joy ambition finds. Now to line 105, Satan is still speaking. All hope excluded thus, behold, instead of us, outcast, exiled, his new delight, mankind created, and for him, this world. So farewell hope, and with hope, farewell fear, farewell remorse. All good to me is lost. Evil, be thou my good. By thee at least divided empire with heaven's king I hold. By thee, and more than half perhaps will reign. As man ere long, and this new world shall know.